Welcome back to the Delaware Way. Ready to meet a prodigy? This is Jacqueline Means. She's a 14-year-old chess star. She is also a student at the Delaware Military Academy. Now, do, we, do you say student or it's cadet? What is, um, they, we go by cadet. By cadet? Okay, yeah. so uh, excuse me. You're a cadet at the Delaware Military Academy, but a chess star. Yes. Uh, well, when I say chess star, that means you've won competitions, right? What have you won? Um, well, about two years ago, I won this small championship thing back down in... I think it was Newcastle. That's the only one I've won so far. I'm more into cheerleading and track and a little bit of basketball and volleyball, but mostly cheerleading and track. Okay, so you've but you've won a championship. Yes. So that and I think that that makes you a chess star. But more importantly, you you believe chess will help other kids. I do. Why? Chess helps with cognitive thinking and it makes you think ahead because when I was younger, I was very impulsive. Like if I wanted to touch something, I'd touch it without even thinking, do I break it? Do I have to do something with it? And chess makes you think about your decisions and like what you're about to do. So you're a chess advocate? Yes. A and where does that advocacy take you? How are you spreading the word about chess? So my brother and I, we started this nonprofit Wilmington Urban Chess Initiative at our neighborhood house, which we live in Southridge, Wilmington. So we've seen a lot of things, like a lot of crimes, a lot of not murders, but shots and stuff, like gunshots, gunshot wounds and things. So wanted to start this positive thing in our community so we could show people that this is a positive thing. You don't have to do, you don't, you're not a bad person because of where you live. You can do something positive. So we started our initiative so we could show younger kids about chess, show that it's a wonderful thing, that it makes you think it's really fun and it's just fun, you can do it. It's funny because we were talking before we started the interview and I mentioned the movie yeah. with Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr. And so there is some empirical evidence that what you're talking about works. This has worked in other communities. Have you seen an effect here yet in Wilmington? Yes, we've seen kids, kids who got in trouble before they started this, now that they have something to do instead of just playing outside dark when it's late, they have something to do. They wanna go home, they wanna look up chess, they wanna get better at it and they wanna be good. So they have something to do. Right, and what do they say? I mean, what's, what's their reaction been? They, at first, they didn't like it because they said, oh, I don't want to sit down and play on this lame board with these little pieces. But as they got into it, they saw that it's really a, it's really a game of war. You have to be, you have to think ahead. You have to think about what your opponent's going to do. You have to think, what am I going to do if they do this? What am I going to do if they do that? And it's just, they love it now. They didn't like it at first, but now they love it. But most importantly, I would think, it's not just them liking it. It's not just them think thinking differently, although that may be part of it, but it's them changing their behavior. It, it, it is somebody uh, growing as a person and realizing that the path I'm taking isn't the only path to take. Has that happened? Yeah, we've seen kids go from cursing in front of their parents, not doing their homework. We've seen them because they want to come to chess practice and you're not allowed to come until your homework's done. They do their homework. They have, they've gone from C's and D's to A's and B's because they want to do chess so bad. Wow, how many kids do you have? You so far, we've, had, we've taken about 20 kids to chess, chess competitions where they've gotten rated by um, National Chess Federation. We have so far 30 kids in the program total. And there are scholarships for this. You can get into into colleges because you're good at chess. My I've, brother has gotten. He got into University of Delaware and Widener because he's so good at chess and he started this nonprofit. Well, I'm sure right now, after hearing all this, you have a lot of, I hope kids, but definitely a lot of parents that are saying, this is something I'd like to do for my child. How do they get a hold of you? How do they get involved? So you can go to info at WilmingtonUrbanChess.com. You can email us at the same address at gmail.com. And you can tell us that you want your child in this, or you can, or, yes, tell us your child, you want your child in this. You can email us, you can call us, let us know. If you want to help us, donate, because we always need someone to help us. Volunteers, um, any kind of donation you can give us, time, money, whatever it is. So there might be somebody that's a chess champion out there that didn't know about you that mm -hmm. you'd love to come and help teach. Yeah can always use more volunteers. There's a lot of kids gaining more interest every day. Wonderful. You're very impressive, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. 14 years old, Jacqueline Means, chess champion and a chess advocate from the Delaware Military Academy, where she is a cadet. That's the Delaware Way for this week. Go to MeTV2.com to replay segments from this show or from previous shows and leave your comments about what you've seen on today's show on our Facebook page or you can reach me on Twitter at The Delaware Way or at Larry Menti. We may read your thoughts on a future show. I'm Larry Menti. We'll see you again next week.